Yo YouTube everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you the perfect way to play Control in Crimson. This is a game I got on stream and I can't lie to you guys. I was kind of frying this game. This was our first game on stream. If you guys want to watch us play live every single day, link to our Twitch will be in the description. I want to see more of you guys in there. But let's get right into the gameplay and show you exactly what I did to fry the lobby here. Starting off with our first engagement, we spot the first enemy. Going to go through and actually slide towards him, man. This could have went horribly wrong here. I don't recommend sliding. It's not a very good mechanic in this game. But we go through and we take out the fourth with a nice little jump shot. And just like that, you can see that's four down. So straight away, while my teammate's on A, I know they're going to be spawning in the back left area here so what i'm gonna do is go through and try to catch any spawners of guard now ideally you're using assault rifle in this scenario because the assault rifle is just a great gun in this, this um, scenario when you're kind of spawn trapping on this map but we've got the vas we're gonna make do with it we go through we use the cover to take out one back off and take out the second so i thought they were gonna be spawning on the left but it actually turns out they were spawning on the right there so what i did is once i got the first kill i actually backed off to kind of take out the second we're going through and you can see what i mean man we're absolutely frying we take out the third gonna chuck a grenade over but unfortunately the guy on the spawn does take us out but that's not too bad man a great start here we're on five kills five and one on 26 lives and our teammates already losing 12 lives there so we're doing a really good job of trying to press our opponents and make sure we're gonna you know just make sure we're kind of using our life advantage here and getting the a point so as i go through i'm gonna watch the middle map we spot one gonna take him out now what i want to do with the smg is i want to make sure I'm, I'm locking down the middle map here we're gonna do a nice little jump shot to take out the second and once again just lock down the middle map for me the middle map is everything once you have this middle map control you basically control the whole area you control the map and you're basically I feel like the end once you have middle map control the opponents just don't really have a lot of map control they don't really know where you're going to come from there's so many angles to watch out from and overall it's just a good play to have man if you guys are the SMG players I highly recommend locking down the middle map on this area let your assault rifle players deal with the either the left or the right lane and that's the key to success going through here again we are playing solo QS so I'm, I'm making sure I'm trying to be as you know impactful as possible for the boys here trying to lock down the middle map and we're doing a good job so far up by seven lines as we go through here going to go through the left here and I like to dive through this little window this window is a perfect example of a ledge that you can dive through and if you get your diving right you can always reset your tactical sprint so you're going to go through now and top ac is a very powerful area so what i'm going to do with the smg is go through with my dead silence try to get my timing right in this example it worked out perfectly we take out one i spot the second now although i didn't get any shots off the reason why i'm not panic but the reason why i kept shooting that guy is because he was going to be in a gunfight with my teammate so i wanted to put any shots on i can just to help my teammate out my teammate gets another two i'm going to back off and i'm going to go to this left corner here i I know that they're going to have to come in front of me. So what I'm going to do is get a line of sight that if they get caught out sprinting, I can get some shots off and hopefully get a kill or two. And just like that, with ease, we managed to win the first round. You can see my opponents having nothing to do there. I mean, one of them literally had nothing to do with not even getting a single kill. But you know what, man? What a great round to start that one off with. Again, we're going up against three Crimson, so not an easy lobby at all. Let's see what we can do in the defense. The fact that we won an offense is hopefully going to set us up for success for the 3-0. But let's see how we take on this defense here. So now we're feeling good, we're feeling confident. I think it's really important. Once you have confidence, once the enemy team feel a bit low, you what you gotta do, you gotta make sure to capitalize on that, man. Make sure to play aggressive. And what do we do? We don't move off the spawn, not the best of starts. But that's alright. We're gonna go through. And as I mentioned, we're gonna take down that middle lane control. Make sure we kind of lock it down that, that, that lane. Gonna chuck a stun through the middle. Now that I've got the stun off, it's time to kind of go through and see if I can make a play here. I'm just gonna make myself a hard target to hit. We take out one with a nice little drop. So I'm gonna go through and I'm looking at the kill feed. The kill feed is very important. I actually heard this guy behind me so we go through we get the second and i mean we're off to a fantastic start here if you're if, I'm, if you're my opponent this is not the start you want man me getting a three piece already heating up here close to the cruise missile and there you go just like that we get the cruise missile gonna go through the back here and oh my god we see another one we're on a seven street boys we're absolutely piecing here i'm not gonna lie to you this was probably one of my best games i've had in rank play in a while maybe my best game ever you guys let me know down in the comments you guys see most of my footage do you think this was my best game of rank play we've had especially the fact that it was in the crimson lobby as well man so we go through we've only lost one life here and we've actually taken nine from our opponent so i'm going to go through and uh, my dead silence is still popped i'm just going to see if i can catch any spawners off guard unfortunately that guy did backtrack on the stairs and take us out so that would have been a really good opportunity to kind of extend our streak there but look where we're spawning this is really important because i want you guys to notice the spawn point this spawn where i'm spawning here this is the main spawn point if you don't spawn on the back right of the area so if your opponents aren't spawning on the back right they're probably spawning on that left area where i was but you can see right here my team is doing a really good job of kind of pressing 
pressing them on the hill, making sure they don't have a lot of map control. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go behind enemy lanes so that if they do get on the hill, I can literally sneak behind them and maybe get an easy kill or two. Yeah, so we're going to go through. We see this guy's one shot. What we need to jump out, get the wide angle, take him out, go prone, double jump, and just like that, a fantastic two-piece to hopefully close out the round. My teammate Marcel gets another two-piece, and just like that, we win the round with ease. Literally only losing five lives. One of the best rounds of controls I've ever witnessed. And I mean, it's all shout out to my opponent there with his one kill, making sure that it's not an easy round for them to win, man. This was a quick 3 0, man. This was a door dash challenge. I'm not going to lie to you, but let's show you what we do on the next offense to show you exactly how we get that victory. Hopefully, you can find some things to add to your game if they're not in there already. But going through to the offense here again, feeling good, feeling confident. We got the dead silence, we got the cruise missile. So, once again, we're going to go through middle map and see what we can do here with three seconds left. I don't know why I'm trying to use a kill streak yet, man. The game hasn't even started, but that's all right. We're going to go through here. Let's see how we play this. Let's see how we how we approach the situation okay not moving that's a good start i feel like i'm not sure if that's the meta right now i'm just you know taking my time off the start there or i'm just i'm probably just doing something on stream okay that's two down here we're gonna go through to the left here and it's time to use a cruise missile all right anytime now all right Arvin. come on okay maybe not maybe i was checking a setting but it's worked out good for us right there we go through we take out the fourth i'm gonna push the a side here now you can see what i'm gonna do is i'm trying to get that middle control now, there's normally most people come through, you know, these middle two doors here, especially because I've got a team on the satellite area. It's actually really important to play my life in this little corner. So this A setup right now is perfect. We've got someone on satellite. We've got someone on hill. Although I died there, I basically made him one shot. So he was in a lose-lose situation. He can either challenge my team and die or he can back off and let us get the hill. So great play right there. Again, you can see we're just absolutely annihilating them on the lives department up by six lives. We managed to get the point. Another two piece from my team. We're just going to go through here and try to get the job done so while my teammates go through middle map i'm gonna go through the flank here and see if i can spot anyone on the ac area i know they're gonna be playing around there we don't have the dead silence so instead of going ac i'm gonna back off we make this guy one shot gonna go through the nade goes off the teammate gets one and now it's time to go throw we spot the second nice little jump shot i always go for that jump shot i feel like that jump shot is incredibly broken so you go for the prone double jump it's a really broken mechanic and now what i want to do here is i want ideally my teammates to sit on the hill and i want to watch the lane i want to basically watch the opponents pushing out their spawn and make it just making it a very hard push for them i want to stop their push in the progress i want to make sure i can get one or two kills on the way but my teammates aren't getting on the hill so we're not going to worry we're going to go back and use a cruise missile something i always talk about using the cruise missile on the objective as soon as i'm on the objective i pop the cruise missile i see exactly where the opponents are we take out one and now i know the second guy's pushing us great centering onto the second we take him out with ease i'm just going to watch these two doors because i thought someone was there someone's there there he is we get the three peats and just like that push to the right and i mean what can i say a very good performance absolutely frying the lobby i mean that was a really weird game i'm not gonna lie to you as soon as i got that game i knew i had to put it on youtube because it was one of the weirdest games we played we kind of fried the lobby but i feel like everyone else was on i don't know man i feel like that game was clicking our pacing was on hope you guys did enjoy the video and learn something new again one of my best gameplays i personally got so i'd really appreciate if you could drop a like it really helps out on the channel and yeah thank you for all your support recently very close to 5k subscribers hopefully we get there soon thank you guys for watching the video catch you guys in the next one peace